the most productive asset searches in many cases start by not looking for the actual asset, but by looking for the movement or evidence of assets. A lot of times the, the clues to where assets are come from very small transactions or very small indications of prior existence of money. For example, if there was an interest payment to an account um, that doesn't match how much is in the account, that might show that there was money in there previously. If you look at the end of the year and there was you know, $500 worth of interest paid in an account that only has $2,000 in it, that might indicate that there was a higher balance at some point. So in many cases, looking for assets isn't um, a process of finding the asset uh, red-handed. It's a matter of finding clues that lead to the asset or where it might have existed in the past. And we found millions of dollars in assets by finding very small payments or very small indications of where an asset existed previously, rather than just trying to find uh, the asset hiding in plain sight, because that's very often not the case.